Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Mastering MuseScore. In this tip, I want to show you one of my favorite commands in MuseScore. It's not very well known, uh, but it's uh, very useful a lot of times. And it has to do with applying elements from the palette. Uh, a lot of elements in the palette, like say the uh, articulations and so forth, have shortcuts for them, but some don't. The command I'm going to show you is kind of a way of applying some palette of elements by shortcut. So let's take a look at how it's going to work. I'm going to select a note here in the score, come over to the dynamics palette, and add a dynamic marking, say piano. Now, what if I want to add that same dynamic marking to other notes? There's not a shortcut to just add the piano marking. However, since I've already added one, I can now add additional um, piano markings, whatever the most recently used palette element is, simply by pressing the shortcut for the apply current palette element command. I have that set up on my computer to be the backslash, which is right above enter. So if I press backslash right now, I get another piano. Select another note, press backslash again, get another piano. So it's a very useful command for that sort of thing, or then if I want to add a mezzo forte in the next measure, I can do that from the palette, but then again use the backslash command to add it to additional notes. I'm just pressing backslash and it's adding that same marking again. Now, I say that I have it set up to be backslash, but it's not set up by default. There is no default shortcut for it. So to define a shortcut for this command, you're going to go to Edit, Preferences, and then within the Preferences dialog, click Shortcuts in the left panel, and then search for, well, you can search for the word Palette, and you'll see the apply current palette element command there and I have the shortcut assigned to backslash. You can click define and now type whatever key you would want to use instead. I find that's a useful one so that's how I leave it as just backslash. So this is a really useful technique to take whatever the most recently used palette element is uh, and apply it over and over again with a single keystroke.